All right, so what's your name and what do you do? My name is Michael Chabala, former Major League Soccer player, uh, current entrepreneur and founder of Spear. Awesome. Uh, how was the session today? Awesome. It's always good working with you. Had a great time being on the beach here in Miami. It was tough. I mean, the sand is a little bit uh, difficult on your normal soccer pitch, but it was interesting mixing up soccer and fitness, adding some skill. Um, my, my touch was a little bit rusty, but you know, it was great getting out there and being able to run around today. It was fun. Uh, what was your favorite drill? Uh, I enjoyed the burpees and skill work with you. I mean, bringing my world of fitness and your world of skill and creativity and soccer training drills and exercises is always fun to mix those. And you know, seeing you get your get your sweat in was always a good time. I really enjoyed uh, some of the skills when the train exercises, sliding through the cones, passing exercises. I mean, it was very eclectic, pulling all those different areas of uh, being a perfect footballer together. Together. Awesome. Uh, did you have any childhood idols growing up? Yeah, David Beckham was my childhood idol. Uh, growing up, I had a, his face plastered all over my walls, posters, read about him. I just kind of idolized him, and I always believe that success leaves clues. So, you know, being able to play against him uh, with the Houston Dynamo and Portland Timbers was like a dream come true for me, one of my greatest accomplishments, too, in itself. Being able to play one of my best games with the Portland Timbers against the LA Galaxy, um, scored one of my two goals, just to be able to say, you know, that I did that against my childhood idol and to, you know, bring my world full circle to come back and to be able to, you know, lace up and play against him and, and do that was awesome. Awesome. Uh, can you tell us how you're helping change the game and tell us a bit about Sphere? Yeah, so uh, my goal with Sphere is to connect the world through health and fitness. I mean, our main focus is, you know, to kind of give the people that don't necessarily play soccer on a daily basis an opportunity to train like a professional and not even a professional, but just a soccer player. I mean, the benefits of, you know, the active recovery and disguised fitness in the game, um, you know, I think it's just really creative and not only just the fitness side of it, but the connectivity. There's so much interaction through playing, constant communication, and we must work together. And that's one of the beautiful parts of the game. So for me, um, looking at the market and looking at what we're doing within Sphere is not necessarily to create the next professional soccer player, but really to offer people that don't necessarily get a chance to kick it um, an, opportun um, an opportunity to do, to do so. Awesome. And um, has there ever been any challenges in your career you had to overcome? Yeah, I mean, I think some of the biggest challenges for me were, you know, simply like fighting myself and trying to make sure that I was uh, you know, becoming the best player that I could possibly be and not being complacent. I mean, obviously, I had a fractured foot. Um, you know, I was right carded in my first MLS game within four minutes, um, constantly being you know, traded from different teams and, you know, being benched and moving around. You know, one of those things for me was just, I would say the biggest challenge even after was that transition between being a professional soccer player and then going into becoming an entrepreneur. Uh, I failed at Morgan Stanley and private wealth management. I failed out of private equity for a firm and then I also failed at being a, a natural gas broker. And going back to what I know as a soccer player and then to mix those worlds of health and fitness, you know, you kind of go through those struggles to find out what you can do better to you know, become a better player. That's awesome. There's always going to be failures, so what do you want to tell kids who want to become pro or keep improving? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing if I was to give advice to a young footballer that wants to make it to the top is, you know, it doesn't matter what you do when everybody's watching. The most important thing you can possibly do is when you're by yourself, when you're alone. Everybody plays on a soccer team, a club team, everybody has a personal trainer, but really what ultimately matters is when nobody's watching. And if you can train yourself on a daily basis, um, like somebody's chasing you down, like your back's against the wall and you have no other alternative, then you'll make it. I mean, everybody watches YouTube videos and thinks that Cristiano or, you know, Messi just worked out for two hours a day and watched YouTube videos of cool guys doing cool tricks like you. But the bottom line is like, you put a lot of work in there to get to where you're at today. And um, there's really no shortcut to success. You have to put in the work and you've got to be willing to do things that nobody else is willing to do. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years from now, uh, opening our 50th location for Sphere, hopefully by Coastal in Los Angeles and New York. And I would love to be having a family by then. My, but my main focus is with, within Sphere of growing an organization uh, that's not only just opening locations, but connecting the world um, uh, for our brand to be more of a global brand, to have more recognition not only in the soccer community, but um, in the global wealth, uh, health, wellness uh, community also. Awesome. So what have been your biggest successes so far? The biggest successes would be, you know, graduating college, being the first uh, member of my family to do so, um, you know, playing professional soccer for almost 10 years, um, meeting the President of the United States twice, and winning two MLS Cup championships, and founding and starting Sphere. I mean, quite frankly, going through the transition of becoming, you know, an entrepreneur and, you know, leaving professional soccer is always challenging. Um, 
but quite frankly, it's it's been a it's been one of the best things I've ever done. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, bro. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yep. you.